All right, picture this for a second. You just ordered a pizza 40 minutes ago and you hear the doorbell ring. What do you do? You get up, you walk towards the door, you open it, you open the door up and you greet the delivery guy and you start making your exchange. While this is all going on, your dog just followed you and notices that his girlfriend that he's had a crush on since he's been a little puppy is right across the street. So what does he do? He makes a bolt right for her. Because you're preoccupied with paying for your pizza, you don't notice that he slips right past you. The next thing you hear is a screech and a thump. Then you look up. What do you see? Your dog on the ground. You rush over. He's clearly hurt. He's in pain. He needs to go to the vet. You rush him over to the emergency hospital. You're in tears. You're, you're scared. You don't know what's going on. Is he going to be okay? The doctors take him. They reassure you everything is going to be all right. Turns out he's got a broken bone. Um, he's got internal bleeding. They got to run some tests. They got to do some blood work. They got to keep him for a few days. But they're going to monitor him. Doctor comes out. And he tells you, don't worry. It's going to be fine. He's going to make it. You're relieved. You go to the front desk to pay the bill. You get slapped with an $8,000 vet bill. But you're not concerned because you were proactive and you got pet insurance. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just want to say first that I apologize that my introduction was so negative and horrific. However, it is a situation that happens on a day to day basis. So um, before we get into it, I do want to introduce you to my friend over here. His name is um, Baloo. Effective um, yesterday, his parents are coming to pick him up in a short little while. Um, so I thought I'd uh, bring him on here and get some footage of him because he's so cute with his big bat ears. And um, yeah, I'm excited to have him a part of this video. So why should you have um, a pet insurance policy in place? Well, there are several reasons. As you know, French Bulldogs are uh, known to have a lot of common severe health issues like spine issues, allergies, sometimes they could incur uh, a hip dysplasia. Now, often uh, some of these issues need to be treated with um, surgery, blood tests, x-rays, um, medication. Um, the point to have pet insurance is to alleviate the financial burden of those um, costs. Now, um, most breeders will hold up their end of the bargain to honor their warranty as long as the owner has an active pet insurance policy in place at the time when they are diagnosed with like a genetic disorder or um, any other kind of health issue. It really depends on what the breeder has put into their contract. Now, the question is, when should you get uh, pet insurance? And from my experience is immediately, as soon as you have decided that you want, that you are gonna get a puppy and you have put a deposit down or you have paid for them, um, get all the information that you can from the breeder so you can call up the insurance companies, get a quote and get your policy set up. Now you're going to want to double check with the insurance company to see if they'll still um, set it up even though the puppy is not in your possession yet, that it's still with the breeder. Um, from my experience, most of the time they are pretty good with that, but you just want to double check with them. Um, also. Another thing to note that your policy does not get activated immediately. Um, usually you need about 30 days um, of clearance. It needs to be cleared by a vet saying that your puppy is healthy and it does not have any um, issues, any health related problems. Uh, once that 30, 30 days has passed, uh, you have an active policy and I'm gonna put him down because he's, he's moving around a lot leads um, into my next point is that you're going to want to check with the insurance company with what's covered and what's not. Now, going back to the example that I gave when I started this video, um, 
if that was a situation that you would be in, um, you would be covered for emergency, emergency vet visits, x-rays, blood work, um, overnight stays, um, any medication that would be needed at the time, or if there was any ongoing um, medical treatment that the puppy needed, um, stuff like chiro um, if your dog needed a chiropractor, that would be covered. So there's a list of things that are covered by the insurance companies. Every insurance company is different. Coverages so out there. Now, one thing that I can say about the insurance companies across the board for all of them is that they won't uh, cover any pre-existing conditions. Um, hey bud, what is that? Stop eating toilet paper. People are fighting over it in grocery stores. Let's just pick you up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so one thing that, um, across all board across the board with all insurance companies that they won't cover any pre-existing health conditions so if you don't take your if you don't take your puppy to get checked out by a vet immediately after bringing them home and then six months down the road you know for whatever reason you end up taking it to the vet and it turns out that it has, you know, a stage four heart murmur or any kind of heart murmur. It doesn't even have to be a stage four or, you know, it turns out that he gets diagnosed for diabetes. You can't turn around and um, you can't, ow, it's got sharp teeth. You can't turn around and go to the insurance company and set up a policy and then put a, a claim for it because you won't get. Now, a common discussion out there amongst people is you know, should I get pet insurance or should I just put money in the bank and put it aside for that rainy day? Now, here's my opinion on it, is taking that same example that I opened up this video with, if your dog is two years old and you've been putting away a hundred bucks a month for the last two years, that means that you only have 2,400 bucks in the bank saved um, for an emergency, but you just got hit with an $8,000 bill, so, you know, that money, the difference is either going to come off your credit card, your line of credit, or you're going to pay out of pocket. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, that would, like I'd be taking a big hit at that point. And it's not something that, you know, I would want to stress about. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I love my dog and, you know, I would do anything for him. Um, but I still would feel I would take a hit for um, I, I would feel that at the end of the day and, you know, being pet owner owners, it doesn't just um, mean, you know, having a pet and, you know, having a dog there and, you know, taking care of it. We also have to think about, you know, the bad times, too. And, you know, they're always there for us. So we should be there for them when they need it the most. And that could be for any vet visit. Um, I would like me personally, I would hate to be in a situation where, you know, I had to make a decision where I, in a situation where I had to make a decision about, you know, giving my dog the care that it needs or basically putting him down because I can't afford it. And it's something that vets um, have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and it's really unfair to them it's really unfair to the dog because you know they're you know we are all that they have and they look forward to us they they rely on us they love us they're like that their whole lives are just about you know loving us so you know we should be taking you know the, the steps and being proactive of thinking about their care, um, you know, in the long run, not just of what's what it's like having them as a puppy. So, you know, guys, like that's that's my opinion on um, uh, on getting pet insurance. I think everyone should get it. Um, no one likes paying insurance. It's uh, one of those things that you know, you don't know if you're going to use it, but I guarantee you the day that you do need it, you're going to be so glad that you did get it and you did set it up and um, you're never going to think twice about it again after. All right. So that's it for us for today. Um, Baloo's, Baloo's uh, parents are on their way. So 
I'm gonna have to say goodbye to him, but uh, it was it was fun to have him uh, with me while um, he was here. All right, so that's it for us uh, today, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.